This video is on graphing linear equations in slope-intercept form. The equation of a line can be written in several different forms. One of these is called slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form of a linear equation is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is its y-intercept, that is, where the graph of the line crosses the y-axis. So for example, the linear equation y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 4 has a slope of negative 2 fifths because that's the number in front of x and has a y-intercept of 4, that's the number added on to the end, and recall that that's where it crosses the y-axis, it's going to cross at the point 0, 4. So to graph a linear equation in slope-intercept form, we want to begin with the y-intercept, the b, and move from that y-intercept with the slope, which is m. So let's go ahead and graph that one here. So we have y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 4. So let's identify our slope and our y-intercept. Our slope is a negative 2 fifths, and our y-intercept is a positive 4. So what does this slope mean? This is going to tell me how I move in my graph. So I can write that as a negative 2 over 5, and remember the number on top of the slope is the change in the y, so how much the graph moves up or down. And so a negative 2 on top means that I'm going to move down two spaces. And then remember the number on the bottom is your change in your x, which is a left or a right or a horizontal change. And since it's positive, that means I'm going to move right 5. Now I can also write this as a 2 over negative 5. Okay, remember I can put the negative on the top or on the bottom. A 2 on the top means that I'm going to be moving up 2, and a negative 5 on the bottom means I'll be moving left 5. Now these may seem very different, but you see when we graph, they're going to end up on the same line. So let's go ahead and begin with our b, and put a dot on the y-axis at 4, and then from there we're going to move down 2 and write 5, and put a dot. But then I can also, back at my y-intercept, from there move up 2 and left 5. And you'll notice that those points are on the same line. And I want to connect them. And that's how you would graph a line in slope-intercept form. We can also work backwards from that. If we're given the graph of a linear function, we can write its equation in slope-intercept form if we can identify its slope and the y-intercept. So here's an example. Write an equation in slope-intercept form for the line graphed below. The easiest thing to find first is your y-intercept, or your b. And that's this point right here where it crosses the y-axis. And that's going to be negative 3. Next, I want to identify my slope. And I'm going to pick any two points you know, because the slope is going to be the same between all of them, and figure out if I go from one point to the next, what am I doing in terms of up or down and left or right? So I'm going to go ahead and use this point here and this point here. So to get between those, I'm going to go up 2, and I'm going to go right 3. So that's going to give me a slope of 2 over 3. Notice that if I wanted to use like these points here, and let's say I wanted to go in this direction, and I decided I wanted to go down 2, and then I wanted to go left 3, that translates into a negative 2 over a negative 3, and remember that a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so I get exactly the same slope. So you can either move up and right or down and left. So my equation is going to be in the form y equals m, which I discovered was 2 thirds, x plus my y-intercept, and instead of writing plus a negative 3, I can write just minus 3. So here are a couple practice problems I'd like you to try on your own. So if you could stop the video and do these in your math journal, and I'll come back in a few minutes and go over them with you. So here's one, and here is the other.
Okay, let's take a look at these practice problems. First one says graph y equals 3x minus 7. Okay, I notice that my slope is 3 and my y-intercept is a negative 7. Okay, a slope of 3, that can be written as 3 over 1, which is going to mean up 3 and write 1. Or I could also write it as a negative 3 over a negative 1, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and that translates into down 3 over left 1. So let's begin with our b, our y-intercept of negative 7. So 2, 4, 6, 7, there's my y-intercept. And from there, I'm going to use my slope to move up 3 and right 1, and down 3 and left 1. I could continue going up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, but I just two points on e one point on either side of the y-axis works well. And then connect those points, and there's the line y equals 3x minus 7. Number two says, write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line graphed below. So I need to identify what is my slope and what is my y-intercept. Let's start with the y-intercept. That's the easiest. That's this point right here. That's a positive 1. Now let's take a look at the slope. And remember, this describes how I move from one point to another on the graph. So I'm going to do my up-down direction first. So I'm going up 1, and then I'm going to the right 4. And since those are both positive, that's going to translate into a slope of 1 fourth. Notice also that if I go down 1 and left 4, I'm going to get the same thing because that's going to be a negative 1 over a negative 4. So my equation is going to be y equals m, which is 1 fourth, x plus 1. So in this video, we took a look at how to graph a linear equation in slope-intercept form.